What's up everyone, Wizard Ken here, and today we're going to be doing a Loot Crate opening. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this video today, I actually wanted to do the review video of the WZ-131, the Chinese Tier 7 light tank. I was really excited about doing that, but as soon as I turned on my Xbox today and went in the world of tanks, their new update came out. So guys, jump on your Xbox and start updating it. There's a lot of cool things that have come in, they've changed up a little bit of stuff, but also we've gotten a lot more maps on this new update. So, I highly suggest you guys... Uh, getting on there and getting this thing downloaded. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have enough time to be able to download it, get on and record, edit everything, and then put the WZ up. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. Um, but I'm also going to be doing the Rollback Friday of the Digger Max that was supposed to go up last week. But unfortunately, none of the video that I recorded, uh, even though it was awesome gameplay footage, was able to be saved. So I have to start all over again, and that's okay. That's okay, I don't mind that. Um, you know, Dicker Max is a fun tank, and uh, I can definitely get some cool games in there again. It was just, I had these other tanks chasing after me. It was funny, I was going around a mountain, they kept chasing after me. Eventually, I turned around, shot one, ran away real quick. And I just kept doing that and killed people. It was so awesome. I had like three or four kills and survived. Um, it was just, it was an awesome freaking game, and uh, I just wish it would have saved. But anyways... We're going to do a loot crate today, and then we'll do a lot more World of Tanks stuff tomorrow. Like I said, I want to be able to get that review in, but also get in the um, Rollback Friday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do all this in one day. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow, but hopefully I can get it done with. Anyways, let's do a loot crate opening. I love these things. If you guys haven't gotten loot crate and you can afford it, it's only like, what, $15 or $20 a month? I think it's 20 bucks a month, and you get about $50 usually worth of things in these uh, in these boxes so I know there's one person that always comments all the time saying uh, try a different box there's a I think it's called like arcade box or something like that there's another version there's a couple different versions of these out there that you can get monthly uh, this one's kinda oriented towards gamers slash you know different TV shows and different things like that like they've had the Walking Dead kinda stuff in here um, they've had different um, it's kind of like a Comic Con so slash, uh, um, you know, E3 kind of thing. It, it, they just they do a cool mixture of stuff. Uh, but I like Loot Crate because I like that mixture. I don't want just always gaming stuff. I like being reminded of, oh my gosh, um, you know, Evil Dead. That's cool. You know, when I got like a chainsaw from like Evil Dead kind of thing. Um, I think that was a chainsaw from Evil Dead, but. Or like the Terminator or something like that you know it's not really game related it's movie related but it's cool things that I like so I like the variety in these anyways let's open this thing up and see what we have inside all right so let's start with this the Joker painted wooden figure all right cool holy crap the Joker got huge warning choking hazards well I guess I need to leave this in the box so the wife doesn't die from it <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty neat. It looks like you might be able to like change his head out and stuff like that. See, I keep getting things like this, and my storage area in the front of the house is getting overwhelmed. I'm gonna have to start like putting up some freaking uh, uh, storage areas inside my room and stuff like that, some shelves and stuff. <laughs> it's gonna get crazy. There's it's so many cool things, so many cool things. So. Alrighty, next thing is Captain America the First Avenger. Um, apparently this is a collectible. We'll look at it real quick. Right there. Ah, trying to keep the glare off of it. Let's see what's inside of this. Oh, thank you guys so much for leaving amazing comments and liking uh, the Tank Destroyer class video. Um, you know, I want to give a shout out to Jack the Ripper. He actually did the original script. He sent it to me. I edited, and, you know, and put my own flair kind of stuff into the uh, the words and then also the video stuff. And uh, it came out really good. I really liked it. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to do more videos like that. And I know you guys liked it when I used to do the review uh, videos like that where I put the historical stuff in the beginning. We had like cinematic kind of videos. Um, and I used to do that. And I started up again. And then I got, you know, some people didn't like me using like the swatch to stick out for the German stuff and then I was like you know what as part of history different thing you know and I, I just wasn't gonna put up with it so this thing is being a pain in the ass to open there we go there we go holy shit 
it's a Hydra. What is this? This is a official prop replica. So this is a Hydra, I guess like, what is this, like a pin or something like that? Let me show you guys. It's like a metal piece right there. I can feel it, it's metal. Uh, how do I get this thing out? I wanna keep the box intact as much as possible because, oh, it is a pin. It is a pin, it's got the uh, little spots in the back that you take off and then you put on the front. But yeah, that is pretty cool. That is really, really cool. I'm going to put this back in because, uh, yeah, I'm going to save this thing, put it up somewhere. A lot of these things I don't ever use. I save them and I hold on to them. Um, you know, they're really cool collectible things. Eventually, one day, I'll pass them down to my kids and stuff like that um, so they can have all these cool things. All right, what's the next thing? Uh, warning, avoid. Okay, that's the warning sign. I have no idea what this is. It's just a big old yellow... Don't tell me this is like a cape. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, and I can't open it. When in doubt, use your teeth. <laughs> That'll open it. That's what I do. Every time. What the hell is this? Oops. Ah, I'm bumping into everything. What the hell is this? If this is... A cape. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. What the hell is this? Oh my god. I'll be back in a second. Alrighty guys, so here it is. It's a kitchen apron. Now I'm gonna try to stand up so you guys can read the rest of it. So it's, what is it? Los Polos Hermanos. I have no idea why there's two chickens on the front, but it's a huge freaking cooking apron. <laughs> Because I do tons of cooking. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I can get my wife to wear this. But it's cool. It's huge. It's got pockets in the front. <laughs> As I said, the random shit that comes out of these boxes. This is why I like this. Because this is something stupid I would wear. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got a big box right here. I want to save that for last. Because I think that's probably going to be something cool. All right. We got another pin. And it looks like it's from, what's the villain again? It's from a Spider-Man, and I can't remember his name. Um, you know, it's on the one where that black stuff gets on Peter Parker, and Venom, 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 Venom. Yeah, and then the other guy gets it, and he becomes Venom. So, yeah, it's like a parasite. It came from outer space, something like that. All right, so that's the emptiness of the box. Then we got our loot crate, a little magazine that came through it. These are pretty cool because you can go through and read up on stuff and there's extra things you can buy like there's uh, a geek accessory of the Legend of Zelda scarf and bracelet, you know. These are some cool things that you can go in and buy. Some really, really cool things. So, oh, and it actually talks about the Los Polos, what is that? Yeah, Los Polos Hermanos Apron. Okay. Anyways, so I don't know where this came from. It might have been a TV show or something. Who knows? All right, let's do the last uh, last box. Now, the only thing I see on the front is it says Marvel and Venom. What does it say? Molded mug. Hmm. I love my uh, coffee mug, so if this is a coffee mug, I'm going to be, like, super happy. Especially, um, you know, if it's got Venom on the front. You know, I... I've got one like, like the one I have right now is keep calm and kill zombies. So <laughs> that's the one I'm drinking out of right now. So this will be interesting to see what this one is. All right, ah, a little foam stuff. Oh shit, <laughs> you guys are going to love this. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that Venom coffee cup. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is definitely something I am going to be using. Heck yeah. That is freaking sweet. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Well, that's the end of the 
Blue Crate video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Go back and watch some of the older uh, World of Tanks videos. We've had some fun. We did do a subscriber party the other day. I apologize for some of you guys that couldn't make it, but one of the last minute kind of decisions, and I was like, you know what? I really want to do one with you guys. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. I'll try to plan it out a lot better next time. It's just, I've been so busy lately. It's just, I have not been able to sit down and just do any like personal time with you guys. And it was fun to be able to do that. So, anyways, guys, I'm Wizard Ken. Thank you so much for watching this. Until next time, see ya.